I went to uh, Las Vegas this weekend. I was in Nashville. It was my um, my wife's 40th birthday party. It was a surprise for her. And she loves Martina McBride. And so I took her to the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. And um, uh, she just sat. She was just a huge, huge, huge fan. I had never seen Mar- Martina McBride before in concert. That woman can sing. I know she doesn't need my endorsement here, but what an amazing concert that was. And especially Nashville, you have one of the best auditoriums. I don't know why we've never played the Ryman, but it is the best auditorium I've ever been in. I mean, to really see cool. a concert there was remarkable. Stu and Lisa came. Um, they were invited because uh, they're friends. Mm-hmm. How's your weekend, Pat? It's great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's good. All right. It's great. So yeah. anyway. Um, <clears throat> what'd you do? Anything? You travel at all? I didn't go to Nashville. Mm-hmm. No? No. How about Vegas? Because we went to Vegas, too. Yeah, I didn't, no. huh. I didn't go. Anyway, so um, <laughs> and then, I had to go, then I had to go to uh, Vegas to give a speech. And so, um, you know, we all kind of we all kind of kind of went to Vegas, and um, uh, not I all not all of us went. Yeah, to Vegas. not everyone. Yeah. No, you, not all. You I, went. I, I went. Yeah, Lisa was there. was there. Yeah, she was there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I went. I, anyway, so we went to uh, so we went to Vegas, and uh, 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 while I gave a while I gave a speech, uh, I I had about an hour in Vegas where I walked around, and I'm not really a Vegas guy. I haven't been to Vegas <laughs> no. since 1985, but I'm really not a Vegas guy. I know that's hard to believe. But you're walking around Vegas. It feels as though mm, there's no recession going on unless you leave the strip. And then you're like, well, things are bad. <laughs> but if you're on the strip, it, it doesn't feel like there's anything wrong. And it is the most surreal town I've ever been to in my life. I've never been to a town like Vegas before. It's like Walt Disney without any of the spirit in it. It's not, I've been to a, there's another town that shall remain nameless that I think is evil in this country. That is just, I'm overwhelmed every time I go there that I'm just like, wow, is there, is there evil uh, here? Vegas, I didn't feel that way. It's I Poc- just, Pocatello, Idaho. It, it was the mean streets yeah, of Helena, geez. Montana. <laughs> it, this, this Vegas just seemed like I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like it was just like a a parallel universe. It was just empty in a way. Well, it was just I don't know if empty, but I mean the parallel universe thing is sort of by design. I mean it is really escapist. You're supposed guess, to go there. It's just, and, yeah, that's what I guess yeah. what it is. It's just like you're walking into a bubble, and you're like, okay, none of this is real. And it's like the laws of the universe just completely break down in Vegas. And may I ask, I don't believe that fashion sense should break down. And when, why I say this is, I said to my wife as we were walking, because um, we went to the Bellagio, which the, the fountains are worth just the price of the ticket yeah. to get to Vegas. I mean, it's ama- they're just amazing. But... Um, so we went and we took a walk and we went to the Bellagio and we looked at the fountains and we were walking home and I said, I just said to my wife out loud, okay, if it wasn't me and I was this kind of guy, how much do you think she costs? <laughs> and my wife just laughed and she said, I'm not sure, honey, she's a hooker. And I said, how do you tell? Because I think, I mean, the, the, the rules on who hookers were used to be a little more clear. Now, at least in Vegas, almost all of the women are dressing like hookers or Halloween. I mean, I didn't see any hot nurses or, you know, uh, tight skirt uh, police officers with the emphasis on the handcuffs and the fishnet stockings. Mm -hmm. So it's either hooker city. Or it's Halloween every day. I think the hot nurses and uh, sexy cops are extra. If I'm, do you uh, think so? Yeah, I think so. I've never seen any. I've never seen a, a, a more women dressed like hookers in my life, and I I felt bad because I wanted to say, sweetheart. For first of all, that that outfit doesn't work on you, okay? And I know I know outfits that don't work on me because I mean, look at me, okay? I know almost outfits, every outfit, almost work every on outfit. Yeah. So I know, mm-hmm. but at least I'm looking at the mirror going. <sighs> That just doesn't work, but there's nothing else I can wear. You, there's a lot you can wear. And you should at least be wearing more than what you're wearing now. There's right. one, there's one where this woman walked in 
And she walked in and she turned around and she was sitting down with her boyfriend or client, I'm not sure. <laughs> and she was sitting down and as she turned around, everybody, everybody laughed. I mean, we looked around at each other because we laughed because her t- skirt was so tight and so high that her cheeks and she should not have they're not cheeks you wanted to see no were hanging out i mean and like hanging operative word hanging out and she turned around oh it was so icky and everybody laughed and i thought about 40 percent of you people should not be laughing because you're wearing something as hideous yeah i mean and and that was it that was like seven o'clock in the morning it's like everybody's coming and they're just hammered and maybe that's what it is. Uh, do women go to Vegas and like I gotta dress like a slut? Is it the excuse to dress uh, like a I slut? I would say yes. I, I mean, mean, their entire slogan for the city is "What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas." I, I know, mean, but I would, I would prefer, I would think as a woman, I would prefer not to have to say, "Excuse me, I'm not a prostitute." I mean, you know, I wouldn't know if you were a guy. You'd be very, very innocent. I mean, if you're not innocent because you're innocent, you know, you're, you're John. Yeah, here yeah, in Edison, uh-huh. John. So, I mean, I know there's levels here that, <laughs> that I'm kind of skipping over. But, I mean, you could honestly go up to a woman and say, how much? And have her look at you and go, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> you're all offended. Let me get a picture of you, honey. Take a look. Take a look when you're sober. <laughs> you should not be wearing that. Yeah. Well, and that's really, I mean, because you kind of expect the uh, sort of. Uh, I mean, the Slut? You you expect Prostitute. sort of um, addressing <laughs> Hooker, call uh, girl, potentially what? inappropriately for other uh, venues in Vegas. I mean, it's a you kind of expect it as a party city. Obviously, it just you would expect your friend when you're going out in a group of five girls for your friends to say, "Hey, maybe that outfit isn't for you." Tanya said she went out because um, uh, it was you know kind of a girls' night out on in Nashville on mm-hmm. you know because her family came in and everything else. And so uh, Nashville after Martina. And so they all went, you know, bar hopping. Well, like half of us don't drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so you are you have very, very clear vision when you don't drink at, you know, 1230 in a bar um, in Nashville. And I didn't go with them because bars really aren't my speed. And um, well, so they are. You're, they're too much. Your they're speed, too much. Speed. They're slow for me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I uh, uh, so they went and Tony came back and she's like, OK. These these girls were having their like bridal shower, and she said, "I, I kind of thought for a minute maybe it was like a you know a new marriage because I thought maybe they had sent strippers in, but no, no, that was the that was the bride and her her maid of honor. They were just coming doing their thing, dressed as strippers. That's nice, <laughs> you know, like." <laughs> I don't get it. I don't. I don't see this new fashion sense here. But maybe it's the grandpa and me well, talking. 